Hello again, my lovely followers, and welcome to today's lesson. Today, we are going to learn writing and reading numbers in English. And here, we are going to see two parts. First part, numbers in English. And second part, large numbers. I had to get kwiga gusoma no kwandika imibare mu cyongereza. Turagiramo ibice bibiri. Hari imibare mu cyongereza. Hakaba n'imibare minini. Ya yindi tubona nyinshi ku buryo kuyandika cyangwa kwisoma bishobora kukubera ikibazo. Ibyo byose turaza kubirebera muri lesomo. Nyuma y'iri somo urabuzi kwandika neza umubare uwo ari wo wose ukungana kose. Please I remind you to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Let's start our lesson. First, we are going to see numbers in English. Numbers in English are divided into two parts. We have cardinal numbers. For example, when you say 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. And these are adjectives referring to quantity. I have told you about adjective. When we say one boy, one boy. This one is adjective, and the boy is a noun. Two boys, three girls, four classes. These are re adjective, referring to quantity. And we have the other part, ordinal numbers. When you say first, second, third, and so on, refer to distribution. What I can remind you here, these ordinal numbers are used when you want to say the position, okay, or place that a person or something holds. Yet you can go one one. For example, we have two people here. We have Aris and Peter. They are studying in the same classroom. When you want to say that Aris has the first mark in the classroom, you will say Aris is the first in the classroom. You will not say Aris is one in the classroom. No, it's the first. Nuwambere ni shuri. And maybe Peter has the second mark, okay, in the classroom after Aris. You will say Peter is the second in the classroom. You will not say Peter is two in the classroom. Peter Nwakabi is the second. This is where we use ordinal numbers. Position. That's something or person holds. Let's see in detail. We have here number, you know, one. Cardinal is one. It is written like this and it is read one. Ordinal is first. And when you are writing ordinal numbers in numbers, you write a number and you put something here. For example, here it is first. Write one and s. Number two. It is written like this and read like this. Two. Ordinal number is second. Ordinal number in numbers, you write like this. Two and ND here. Second. Number three. You write and you read. Three. And here ordinal is third. In the number it is written like this. We have four. In the numbers. And the four. In the letters. Cardinal. And fourth. Here. From fourth, you, you write the number and you add th, four, and you add th, then you read four. In the numbers, it is written like this. Five, cardinal is five, and the ordinal is fifth. You see there is a change. Pay attention here, please. And here, the numbers you write 5 and th. Six. 
cardinal is 6 ordinal is 6 and in numbers it is written like this 7 you have cardinal 7 ordinal 7 and in numbers you write 6 8 you have 8 cardinal ordinal nth and in numbers you write 8 th 9 ordinal is 9th and you write 9 th in numbers 10 cardinal ordinal is 10th and you write 10 th in numbers 11 ordinal is 11th and you write in numbers 11 th 12 12th and you write 12 th 13 13th and you write 13 th in numbers 14 40th and you write 14 number th in numbers 15 15th and you write 15 th in numbers and abbreviation Sixteen, sixteenth, and you write number th, sixteen th. Number cardinal seventeen, seventeenth, ordinal, and you write number there. Number eighteen. Ordinal, 18th, number 19, 19th, number 20, 20th, and you write 20 th here in numbers. 21, cardinal 21, you write and read like this. And you write, and the ordinal is 21st. Mm -hmm. The 21st. 21st. Number 22. In the ordinal, you write 22nd, and you read 22nd. 23. 23. Cardinal. Ordinal, you write. 23rd okay wama kumyabiri nagata 23rd 24 ordinal is 24th 25 ordinal is 25th 26 ordinal is 26th 27 ordinal is 27th 28 Ordinal is 28th, 29th, Ordinal is 29th, 30, Ordinal is 30th, 30th, and you write number 30 plus th in numbers and abbreviation. 31, Ordinal is 31st, 40. Ordinal is 40th, 50. Ordinal is 50th, 60. Ordinal is 60th, 70. Ordinal is 70th, 80. Ordinal is 80th, 90. Ordinal is 90th, 
100. Or do you know is 100? 500. Or do you know is 500? One or a thousand? Or do you know is thousandth? You write 1000 here and number and you add th. 1500. Or do you know is 1500th? 100,000. Or do you know is 100,000th? You see, we don't have one here. 1 million. Or do you know is millionth? You see, we don't have one here. We have not here. British English takes and following hundred American English omits and we are going to see how to write different numbers one but different numbers and here but it could be local British English the Koresha and you hundred are commonly American ya and to Kaikura because I wanna use a new con hako British English, American English. Here we have hundreds. To your club, Kunubandi can no ho even weary in Mibare Irimu Majano. Itarajera Mujihund. Here we have three hundred fifty. It means here it is American English. Are British English, Kavuga? Three hundred and fifty. Muko ri kutubira hano muri not. 425. See? 873. Wa ona ko imare yose dufite ntiragera mu gihumbi. 3500, na This is how we write them. Let's see thousands. Here, when we have two numbers before comma and three numbers after comma, it means here we are in thousands. At what we home. Kuva kuji humbi narimne, kujaza kumbi mirongu chenda ni chenda. At what ufte imivare ibiri, comma, hana ni makawari indi mivare itat. In English, we will say fifteen thousand five hundred sixty. And when we have three numbers here, comma, and three numbers after comma, at what kwaje zimu humbijana. Kuva kubihumbijana na chimwe, kujeza kubihumbi, magana chenda, milongu chenda ni chenda. And in English we will say, 786,450. Ibi humbi magana ni nugui, milongu nani, nati tanda tu, magana ni milongu tanda. And here, 342. Thousand seven hundred thirteen. Ibi humbi magana tu milongu nena bibiri magana ringui chumi nagata. And here five hundred sixty nine thousand forty five. Ibi humbi magana tano milongu tara tuni chenda milongu nena nagata. Here we have millions. You see here millions. Two million four hundred fifty thousand. A hundred million ebjiri ibi humbi maganane milongu tan. Twenty-seven million eight hundred five thousand two hundred thirty-four million makunya na ziri inugi ibi humbi maganane na vitano. Magana vili mirongu tatu na kani. You see here we have two million. And million has no S. Pay attention here. Twenty-seven. But million has no S. And here we have nine hundred thirty-four million seven hundred thousand. Millioni. Magana chenda mirongu tatu nenye. Mili humbi maganari indu. 
here we have 589 million 432,420 Here we have Raja numbers When we say Raja numbers Nukufuga ni miware mini nino Nuhu kusumba yendi tukwale baga hizo Tumatukwa jazamuliza bilion Trillion Okay, and so on. Let's see. Here we have 23 billion 870 million 550 thousand. Kuvuga billion million magani nani milongu ilinugi niwi humbi Magana tanu minongu tanu. Icho tulibu uchila nyehano, bilion ingana na milioni ijihumbi. Here we have another raja number. 12 trillion 600 billion 450 million 300 45,000. Chindi hano nda kubigira trillion ingana na billion ijihumbi. Ok? Hano dufite trillion chuminebji billion magana tanda tu million magana ne milongu tanu nibi humbi magana tatu milongu ne na vitanu. Thank you my dear followers this is the end of our today's lesson. See you next.